It is tough to sum up in words the incredible impact that Ridley Scott had on the sci-fi horror genre. When Alien was released in 1979, it was a phenomenal masterpiece that made the audience shudder with a terrifying narrative, complete with some of the scariest creatures of all time, the Xenomorphs. It set the standards really high for sci-fi movies and over the years the franchise carried the weight of its legacy. There have been some very capable directors and some impressive sequels to follow, but the interest among the fans remains as high as ever, and the news of the upcoming Alien project has left them in a frenzy. In this video, we will bring you everything there is to know about the new movie, and it might just make the waiting period easier. A brief recap of the franchise to refresh your memories. It all started with Ridley Scott's classic in 1979 which introduced the alien threats of unthinkable proportions. This was followed by the efforts of a young James Cameron brought on board for Aliens 1986. He had proved his worth in gold through the grand success of The Terminator and the magic was woven all over again for this wonderful sequel. It was more of a reboot which used the same protagonist for a different premise. Sigourney Weaver stole the show as Ripley and the movie went on to win the Academy Awards for Best Visual Effects and Best Sound Editing. After establishing a massive fan base through two remarkable editions through the franchise, Aliens 3 was released in May 1992. David Fincher in the director's seat failed to get the same acknowledgement as his predecessors but the special effects continued to find takers in the Academy Awards. Some controversies erupted following the director exiting the project as it neared its end because of creative differences, and many fans believe that David Fincher's original version would have made the movie a lot better. Then came Alien Resurrection in 1997, and this movie was more about the action-packed excitement than the story. Directed by Jean-Pierre Jeunet, the film tells the story of scientists finding out the hard way how farming xenomorphs is not the brightest idea. While Alien Resurrection was a thorough entertainer, it lacked the finesse of the earlier movies and the movie failed to get the nod of approval from the critics. After a long gap of almost seven years, Alien vs Predator by Paul Anderson was released in 2004, marking a return of the franchise. The crossover was a brave effort and while it was fun to watch the two Apex fighters go at each other, the response from the fans was not exactly heartening. However, the underwhelming reception did not stop Fox from bringing about Alien vs Predators in 2007 to add to the lore. It was yet another guilty pleasure entertainer from the direct duo of Colin and Greg Strauss. And despite some harsh criticism, the fans of both franchises appreciated the end results. A promising comeback was observed in the franchise when Ridley Scott decided to return after 33 years with a prequel project titled Prometheus 2012. He showed that he is just as effective with the modern filmmaking techniques as he was all those years ago and the movie brought back the haunting memories of the original film. He followed up this memorable effort with a sequel titled Alien Covenant which was released in 2012. 17. And this CGI laden movie impressed with its philosophical themes and interesting storytelling. Since then, it has been rather a long wait, and it was about time that we had some concrete news about the upcoming movie. And finally, we do! What is happening with Alien Romulus? Cast and direction explored. Yes, that's what the new Alien movie will be called. And Fede Alvarez has been roped in as the director for the project. He has previously directed movies like Don't Breathe and 2013 Evil Dead. So he is someone well versed with the tricks of horror and sci-fi genres. Both his movies received a positive response from the audience and the fans are hopeful that he is the right man for the job. There is also an interesting story about how he bagged the project. Apparently, he had always been a diehard fan of the franchise and many years ago, he had casually pitched a story idea to Ridley Scott, who was mightily impressed. Last year, the veteran director called up Alvarez to know if he would still be interested to put his words into action and the promising new director grabbed the opportunity with both hands. 
His speech was so strong that 20th Century did not hesitate to greenlight the project, and one of the studio executives went on to reveal that everyone was floored by the grandeur of the idea. Alvarez's pitch included a strong storyline which was helped by some really strong characters who could be the heart of the movie. Initially, Fox Studios wanted to have a movie that would bring back Sigourney Weaver's Ripley, but ever since Disney acquired 20th Century Studios, the plan went for a toss. After Fede Alvarez was brought on board, he had some other ideas for the characters and the cast. As for the cast of the movie, the reports have revealed that Pacific Rim, a prizing star, Kaylee Spaney has been finalized for the lead role. She is a promising actor and is certainly capable of doing justice to the character. The Ridley Scott Connection and the Possible Storyline Purists who love the original Alien movie more than anything will be delighted to know that Ridley Scott will continue being a part of the project. He might not be behind the cameras anymore, but he will work as the producer, and you can be sure that his guidance will be as good as gold for Fede Alvarez to translate his ideas on screen. The story is now closely guarded secret, but humor has it that the movie will not really try to link up with the previous films in the franchise. You can expect the Xenomorphs to take the entire center stage once again because a true fan like Alvarez wouldn't change much around the creature that made the franchise what it is. Besides, it might be for the greater good that a standalone story takes away the convoluted and complicated nature of the franchise over the years. Expect the Xenomorphs to spread their terror in an entirely different location this time and you might also get a few more new characters to add to the existing ones. There is also an upcoming Alien TV series in development and one of the executives stated that the story will be premised before Ripley and will take place on Earth. If the movie is somehow connected to the series, you can expect something along similar lines. Given the reputation of the director, you should be prepared for a horror feast and this might well be one of the scariest Alien movies ever made. A new idea with the essence of Ridley Scott's original theme is just what the doctor ordered and there is every reason for the fans to be excited about this upcoming project. When can we expect the movie to be released? All good things take time, and Alien Romulus is not an exception. Filming such movies is always tricky, and a lot of pre-production hazards need to be dealt with before the process finally begins. It is reported that filming will begin in Budapest, Hungary from the 6th of January 2023 and you can expect things to be wrapped up by the end of the year. Although no official release date has been revealed, all likelihood points towards the movie being released in earliest of um, 2024 or at least the first half of next year. However, just like the Alien television series, which is also in the making, the movie will not see a theatrical release and will be made for the streaming platform Hulu. We hope for the sake of the fans like us that the legacy is maintained and the new movie lives up to the high expectations. The direction is in capable hands and with a concrete storyline, we have every reason to believe that the movie will lay the groundwork for many more Alien movies to follow to immortalize the franchise. Let's keep our prayers strong and our fingers crossed for this one. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. <laughs>